Welcome back to the Futurology, your go-to spot for the latest and greatest in electric vehicles, EVs, the automotive industry, and everything related to shaping our sustainable future. Today, we're looking into a revolutionary shift in the automotive world, looking at how Chinese automakers are spearheading the creation of low-cost electric vehicles. Let's explore how they penetrate the North American and European markets their performance compared to more popular and expensive brands and the tactics enablings peerhead their affordability. Plus, we'll discuss what other automakers can do to compete and whether having these Chinese EVs on our roads is beneficial. Let's get started. China's automakers have made significant strides in the EV market, creating vehicles that are not only affordable, but also efficient and reliable. Brands like BYD, NIO, Xpeng and Geely are leading the charge producing electric cars that often cost a fraction of their Western counterparts. But how do they achieve such low costs? Let's break it down. First, Chinese automakers benefit from massive economies of scale. With a booming domestic market, they can produce large quantities of EVs, driving down the cost per unit. For instance, BYD sold over 200,000 EVs in the first half of 2023 alone. Government support in the form of subsidies, tax incentives, and infrastructure investments also plays a crucial role. Fun fact, the Chinese government has invested over $60 billion in the EV sector over the past decade. Penetrating the North American and European markets is no small feat. Chinese automakers employ several tactics to make inroads. They establish partnerships with local companies, set up manufacturing plants abroad, and tailor their vehicles to meet regional safety and environmental standards. Aggressive pricing strategies and attractive financing options further enhance their appeal. Did you know? In 2023, Chinese automakers exported over 2 million vehicles globally, a 35% increase from the previous year. Chinese EV sales are still soaring in 2024, with electric vehicle sales in China reaching around 10 million units in the first quarter of 2024, representing almost 45% of total car sales. Meanwhile, in the US, EVs made up about 16.3% of total new light-duty vehicle sales in 2023, with Chinese brands gradually increasing their presence. Europe also saw steady growth, with electric cars accounting for one in four cars sold. Our data suggests a significant rise in Chinese EV sales in Europe. According to Transport and Environment, T&E, a clean transportation research group, almost one in five EV imports to Europe in the first four months of 2024 were Chinese-made. European sales of Chinese EVs jumped by 23% in the first four months compared to 2023. T&E projects that Chinese brands could reach 11% of the European EV market in 2024 and 20% by 2027. While precise data on the actual market share has been hard to find, it's unlikely that Chinese brands are the overall leaders yet. Established European brands like Volkswagen, Tesla and Renault still hold a significant share. Limited presence. In North America, Chinese EVs have not penetrated the market in a major way yet. High tariffs on imported Chinese vehicles and existing competition from domestic and established foreign brands are contributing factors. There is future potential though, with discussions about Chinese manufacturers setting up production facilities in Mexico to avoid tariffs and potentially increase their North American presence. However, this is still in the development stage. So, how do these Chinese EVs measure up against popular, more expensive brands? Surprisingly well, while they might not match high-end models' luxury and advanced features, they offer solid performance, reliability, and efficiency at a much lower price point. For example, the BYD Tang EV costs around $45,000, whereas the Tesla Model Y starts at $58,000. The Xpeng P7 with a range of over 400 miles, is priced at $35,000, compared to the Audi e-tron's $65,000. That's quite a bargain. But what enables Chinese automakers to keep their costs so low? 
One key factor is the vertical integration of supply chains. Many Chinese manufacturers produce their own batteries and key components, reducing reliance on third-party suppliers. Lower labor costs and streamlined manufacturing processes also contribute to their competitive pricing. And let's not forget the good old government subsidies, making it all the more affordable. Do these companies make a profit, or is it all about market acquisition? The answer varies. Some companies operate on thin margins to establish market presence, while others, like BYD, have diversified portfolios, including energy storage and public transportation solutions, which bolster their financial stability. It's a mix of playing the long game and raking in the yuan. So, what can Western automakers do to compete? One strategy is to focus on cost reduction through innovation. Investing in new battery technologies, optimizing supply chains, and increasing production efficiency can help lower prices. Additionally, forming strategic partnerships with technology firms and governments can provide the necessary support to stay competitive. In other words, time to step up the game, folks. Is it beneficial to have these Chinese EVs on our roads? Absolutely. Increased competition drives innovation and lowers prices, making EVs more accessible to a broader audience. This accelerates the transition to sustainable transportation, reducing carbon emissions and our dependence on fossil fuels. Plus, who doesn't love a good deal? Moreover, the widespread adoption of affordable EVs can help achieve global climate goals more quickly. As more people switch to electric vehicles, the demand for renewable energy sources increases, promoting further advancements in green technology. It's a win-win for the planet and your wallet. In conclusion, Chinese automakers are reshaping the EV landscape by offering low-cost, efficient vehicles that challenge the dominance of more expensive brands. Their success lies in economies of scale, government support, and innovative production techniques. As they continue to expand globally, their presence will increase competition and accelerate the transition to a greener future. So, next time you think about getting an electric vehicle, remember, China's got your back. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content on the latest in electric vehicles and sustainable technology. See you next time.